Hello guys, I am Alex. Welcome to i3 Automations PLC training. Today I'm gonna show you how can you migrate a Slick 500 or SLC 500 to Compact Logix. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is let's let's open it up here the IAB software is a free software um, rock automation so let's get started and open it up here this is the icon for that so let's double click or click here and we're gonna open this guy here so the next thing is um, okay is initializing so let's create a new project here so create a new project here and the name that they're gonna do here right now gonna be SLC 500 um, Compact Logics. Compact Logics. So we have this guy here, and after that we're gonna choose this guy here that we are here right now. My mouse here. So I mean over over here. So SLC 500 Migration Wizard. So I'm gonna click over here and click OK. And after that. You need add the chassis here. So I'm gonna add the name of the chassis here. Gonna be SLC 500, and you can put the name that you want to. But I'm choosing right now here to put like the SLC 500 here and click OK. And here is the here's the deal here. So right now we have here like the SLC IO. So we need go here and we need to put the replace with 1769 compact logics or replace with 5069 compact logics or replace with counter logic. So imagine that you have the old Slick 500 and you need to know first is will I need will I migrate to compact logics or counter logics if it is if you need if, if you need to migrate to the compact logics you need to know we have two big families for for compact logics we have 1769 or 5069 they, they are uh two different families for compact logics but at this case right now at this, this video here i'm gonna migrate my harder configuration SLC 500 to Compact Logic 1769 Compact Logic. So I'm going to choose this guy here, replace with 1769 Compact Logic. And now you need to choose or what is the size of your chassis here. So my chassis here is um, 13 slots. So I'm going to choose here 13 slots. And like you can see here, you choose your your real existing as slick 500 chassis here and automatic here you have the the like the um the same compatibility for compact logics here so now i'm gonna choose the this the the the, the, the fault or the power supply here so i'm gonna put like the p4 1746 p4 is my and here automatic choose the the one for compact logics so the same that we have here we go we have the same capability for this guy here so this the, the third step here is let's choose the cpu so the cpu you need choose here and you need click and paste over here click and paste over here so when you do that here has some options so with the cpu here you you are be able to choose for each one over here so let's choose this l33 er so i'm gonna put click over here and click ok and after that you can see here so we have the the compact logics over here and also we have the the the, the cpu related or to the compact to the SLC 500 so we have the compatibility between this and this guy here and the fourth step is let's choose here the IO module here so I'm gonna choose digital 
So let's put here the IB32, 32 digital inputs. So we're going to put over here and automatic you have the same on compact logic over here. So this is pretty much easy to do this step by step. So I'm going to put uh, just one more um, card here. I'm going to put like, uh, let's see, output. So we're going to choose the output guy here. So let's, let's choose this OB32, the digital output for this guy here. And automatic, you can, as, a, as you can see here, you're going to see the same on compact logic over here. So this is pretty much very, very easy this, this, to do this step by step. And when you're done, so let's say you replied this the exact the same that you had at the field here. And after that, you're going to see the exact the same on compact logic over here. So what you need to do here is after done. So you need to click OK over here and generate your hardware. So when you click here, generate your hardware, you need to go here in the hardware configuration and you can see here. But the special thing is you can generate it like the report about what you did here. So let's click here and word or create a report. So and click yes. And after that, you need to choose the path that you're going to save that. So yes. And here, I'm going to put here on my desktop area, just for now. So I'm going to put over here, desktop area, and I'm going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to click here, no, for now. OK, when done, so I'm going to show up this message for you. Let's say, oh, do you want to open your word processing application? Yes, I want to. I, I'd like to see. How it looks like here? Uh, not for now. So this is the guy here. So we have the SLC 500 com to compact logics. Oh, I, I missed the T word here, letter. So right now we have this guy over here. And the good thing here is we can see the consolidated BOM. So we have the BOM over here. We have the description, everything here is pretty much very too easy to do that and you have description and you have the, the picture or the, the, the yeah the picture about your migration here so this is pretty much good because you can add this guy uh, on your um, drawing and um, so you can do a, a lot of things here you have the calculation as well so we have like they they su suggest you the PA2 you have like how 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 many milliamps you have remaining or use it. So it's pretty much it's calculated, very easy to you. You don't need to spend a lot of time to do the calculation because the report can do this for you. Okay. So I hope you enjoy a lot this and please give you your thumbs up. Help us a lot this and subscribe on your channel and. See you next time. So, and don't forget to click on our uh, PLC training link here below so you can see what you can learn in industrial automation. So, see you next video. Bye.